everyone! We're back again for another topic. Are you ready for another learning session? Now let's get started! In the previous lesson, we have learned about verbs. Now, let's refresh your knowledge by answering the activity. Before we continue with lesson 2, let us have first a quick review. Arrange the letters below to form the verb that fits each sentence. You belong seek advice when you feel depressed. You might end up harming yourself. What word do you think will be created when we arrange the letters? You're correct. The answer is should. You should seek advice when you feel depressed. You might end up harming yourself. Let's have another one. Please tell Anna that she blank use my room. You're great. The answer is good. Please tell Anna that she could use my room. Now let me ask you, how did you respond to certain situation that you have encountered in your life? Life's challenges can bring positive or negative effects to us. It's up to us how we respond appropriately to certain situation. Now let's have a self-check on how you react and respond to different situations through this activity. Number 1. I am happy that you spend time with me. Number 2. I am sad about the loss of your puppy. Number 3. Watching a drama is better than going out in this time of pandemic. Now take note of the underlined word. They express emotions and they are called adjectives. Previously, we have learned that adjectives describe nouns and pronouns. This time, we will learn what is adjectives for emotions. Emotions and feelings are very similar. In fact, the definition of feeling is to have an emotion. The only difference is that emotions refer to that which is not tangible, while feelings are something you can kind of put your finger on. Now let's take a closer look on this. Emotions cannot be easily seen. We can guess that someone is either happy or sad, but emotions are not always expressed. Rather, it's something we sense. Adjectives have negative and positive emotions. Now here is a sample of adjective for negative emotions. The distressed man walked home in the rain. And here is an example for adjective for positive emotions. I love the serene view of the sea. The underlined words are adjective that express emotions. Here are samples of adjectives that shows positive emotions. Now let's use in a sentence some of the example. The message shared to us by our pastor was really encouraging. In this sentence, the word encouraging describes the positive feeling of the person about the message he or she heard from their pastor. Another example. I am thankful to God because He never fails to provide all my needs. In this sentence, the word thankful describes the positive feeling towards God because of being a good provider. One more example. I am so blessed to have a supportive parents. 
In this sentence, the word supportive describes the positive feeling about being blessed to have a supportive parents. Now let's move on to adjectives that shows negative emotions. Now let's use in a sentence some of the example. She was so desperate that she sacrificed her savings just to buy the newest phone in the market. The word desperate emphasizes the person's negative emotions to have this thing even to sacrifice her savings. Another example. I don't like this movie. It's boring. The word boring emphasizes the person's negative emotion towards the movie he/she is watching. One more example. Mother told us not to go on that place. It was dangerous. The word dangerous emphasizes that a certain place was dangerous and should be avoided. After we discuss what are adjectives that shows positive and negative emotions, let's do a self-reflection by answering the questions. Have you realized the importance of using adjectives in expressing positive and negative emotions? Are you now ready to use adjectives in giving your responses to a certain issue? Yes, that's great! Now, it's activity time! Choose the best adjective that fits the sentence. Comment down your answer below. Number 1. The best way to be blank is being contented. Number 2. Saying blank words to someone is not good. Number 3. I felt blank whenever I am with my family. Number 4. You should be blank for all the blessings that you have received. And number 5. People often feel blank whenever they commit mistake. Thank you for watching and I hope that this video lessons help you understand what is adjective as emotional response and how to use them to express your emotions. Till next time!